All right, welcome back to WMAC now with your host Chuck Stevenson coming at you with some news out of the Ultimate Fighting Championship. So today the UFC finally released its revised card for UFC 249 tentatively scheduled for next Saturday, April 18th. And it has listed two ladies fights on the card. Uh, first up you have Sajara Eubanks versus Sarah Morris at Bantamweight on the prelims. And then you have Rose Namajunas versus Jessica Andrade in a rematch as the co-main event. Uh, first up, looking at Eubanks versus Morris. Eubanks coming in four and four. Morris coming in six and five. Uh, Eubanks coming in off of two losses, first to Aspen Ladd, then to Betch Cohea. Morris, on the other hand, coming off a win over Leanna Jojua six months ago, preceded by three straight losses. Uh, Eubanks is the older fighter, 34 to 31. Um, Morris is the taller fighter, 5 feet 7, 170 centimeters tall, to Eubanks is 5 feet 3 inches, 160 centimeters tall. However, according to Topology, they have an identical reach of 67 inches, 170 centimeters tall. Not a whole lot to look forward to in this fight. Um, Morris has been around, it seems like, forever. She was on the uh, first season of the ultimate I think it was Ultimate Fighter 17 that featured uh, all bantam weights that was hosted or coached by Rousey and uh, Tate I believe Morris was on team Tate correct me if I'm wrong uh, hasn't been doing so good lately then you got Eubanks who also has not been doing uh, so great lately uh, I think whoever gets the takedowns wins this fight honestly uh, they're both both do better on the ground than they do on the feet. Uh, both have good top games, but not so great off their back. I'd say Morris is actually slightly better off her back, but we'll go, whoever gets a takedown, I think, wins this one. Then at strawweight on the co-main event, Andrade versus Nama Yunus, the rematch. Andrade coming in twenty and seven. Nama Yunus coming in eight and four. Both are coming off of a loss. Andrade to Weili Zhan seven months ago. Uh, Nama Yunus, however, coming off the loss to Andrade, hasn't fought since then, and that was almost four, uh, 11 months ago. Uh, Andrade, the older fighter, 28 to 27. Uh, Nama Yunus is taller, 5 feet 5 inches, 165 centimeters, to Andrade's 5 feet 2 inches, 157 centimeters. And she also carries a reach advantage of 65 inches, 165 centimeters, to Andrade's 62 inches, 157 centimeters. Uh, I see this fight going a lot like the way the first one did. Um, uh, Nami Yunus just having better technique, being able to outbox Andrade. The question is going to be, will Andrade be able to get her hands on her? And what will Nami Yunus be able to do once she gets her hands on her? Do I see it ending in... A slam the same way it did before? No, but it really is a matter of can Nama Yunus handle the pressure that Andrade is going to apply because that's what Andrade does. Um, if you really study the first fight, you could see her Nama Yunus visibly slowing down in the second round. However, I believe this being a third three round fight definitely favors Nama Yunus over being a five round fight. So, uh, I'll do a preview, I think, clip for this fight next week sometime. Uh, anyway, so the fights are on, allegedly. Uh, UFC has the date set. They still have not listed the location, but they have the bout order set and everything. Um, it's nice that the ladies are getting the co-main event spot. Other than that, I don't have a whole lot to say. I think I've already said everything I have to say about putting on an event during uh, this whole crisis. Don't have really have anything more to say about that. But uh, let me know your thoughts on these two fights in the comments down below. Of course, likes always appreciated. And hey, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to WMAC Now, the best, fastest growing women's mixed martial arts dedicated platform on YouTube. Don't forget to hit that bell for notifications. It'd be a lot cool if you did. And we'll see you next time.